Hey, folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, February 14th, 2011. Well, folks, we are seeing the markets hovering neutral to positive. This is standard for a Monday, and again, considering there were no big things over the weekend to cause any volume surge on the sell side, the upside neutral bias continues to hold. And again, you can see it very, very clearly. The markets open flat, float up. Then you get a little selling as the dollar popped right here. And then once the volume got to the non-existent point, the markets have just float, floated sideways to up the rest of the day. And again, the volume today, look at how small these candles are. You can barely see them on the lower end of my chart. Volume is on pace to be the lightest in 52 plus weeks, folks. I mean, that's how light we're talking right now. It is insane. All right, and again, right now, the spiders, as we approach 2 p.m. Eastern time with just two hours left, you've done 56.5 million on the SPY. Average over the last 52 weeks has probably been around 150 million. To see that we've only done 56.5 at this point, we're on pace to do far less than 100 million, and that is amazing in and of itself to think about how little participation there is in the market. Now, again, there are catalysts, and this is something I've joked about and laughed with my traders in the chat room about. It's astounding. Take a look at ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil has continued to float up nonstop. I mean, look at this chart, folks. This is so unrealistic. It makes you almost have to laugh at it because it's that comical. Now, many of you are saying, well, what's so comical about it? Well, this is the normal participation of Exxon, and this is actually abnormal in the case of even the last few days. What I mean by normal is that every day we're seeing Exxon gap slightly lower, and then it catches a bid to prop the markets up the rest of the day. Take a look at Friday. It gaps down, surges, three-bar surge, and again, the rest is history as the Friday effect took hold. Take a look here. If you go back to last Thursday, it opens lower, and then look at the chart the rest of the day. Today, it's even more kind of outrageous in terms of what it's done. It has only had two red candles all day, and look at the size of the red candles right here. This is it, folks. Two red candles. This is one of the most kind of obvious events here showing the propping of the Federal Reserve, which is, again, focusing on this one stock. This one stock is the biggest market cap in the whole entire market, folks. Biggest. All right, $330 plus billion, bigger than Apple, bigger than any other stock out there, essentially. And again, it continues to just grind higher, up over $2 today, up $2.03 to $84.85. It is truly astounding. Now, again, the key is to recognize that this is over $10 billion in market cap already created. If you take into account the negative portion, it's about $15 billion. $15 billion. And again, it just so happens that today, eight to six to eight billion in Pomo is scheduled. So it is very interesting to kind of put it in perspective for what you're seeing on Exxon here, the biggest stock out there. The biggest stock out there really shouldn't be doing this. This type of dramatic move up on the biggest stock in the market, this shouldn't be happening. This is like a small cap. You see a small cap which just continues up all day, continuing to squeeze shorts. That's more of a small cap move. To see the biggest stock do this, very unrealistic. And again, it kind of coincides with 6 to $8 billion in Pomo being utilized today to push into the markets. You see this type of effect going on. Other stocks doing the same thing. Take a look at Chevron, guys. Chevron is the sympathy company, but not even Chevron can compare to Exxon. At least Chevron's had some pullbacks here. Exxon, zero pullbacks. Two small red candles today next to each other, equaling about three-cent pullback. That's it, three-cent pullback the whole entire day. The rest of the day has been straight up. You have to wonder if it's going to continue to move up, up over $2 as it continues to grind higher. The interesting thing about it is that Exxon is really only keeping the market stationary. If I go to the spiders here, take a look at the spiders. You've been going sideways now because other stocks aren't able to prop themselves up. So you're seeing a little bit of a divergence here in regards to what you're seeing in the markets. IBM, for instance, usually a powerhouse, down $0.57. Cents. All right, uh, Goldman Sachs, only up $0.54. Cents. JP Morgan, only up seven cents but again because you have the flattish to negatives on a lot of these other stocks exxon has to put in a great effort just to keep this market from selling off and again this is getting more and more exaggerated on the Exxon chart, which leads me to believe that you will see a top in the market in the not too distant future. All right, and again, that you know, think about it in terms of this. You know, the more they put up, push up Exxon, and this is this is what they're doing to Exxon, and it's only keeping the market stationary. It has to lead you to think that again. All right, well, how much more can they get out of Exxon? You know, what's the next catalyst? If Exxon does this, and the markets are only neutral to positive, then what's the next one after this? What happens when this when they can't push this up anymore? You know, which again, yeah, you can have a few more days like this, but eventually you're going to have to find some other catalyst to push it up because valuations are going to come into play. And that's my one kind of 
interesting thing here to wonder when that point will be. You know, we are obviously close to it, but again, is there going to be another catalyst to pop out of the woodwork? Right now, the Nasdaq's up about six points. You have the Dow down actually on the day, eleven points, and the S and P 500 up about two points. All right, some other stocks to watch. One of the stocks that we've been watching in the intraday stock chat and research center. Take a look at this, guys. NIV, what a rocket ship. We actually had a buyout right down here at two dollars and twenty cents. I unloaded it right up in this range, right around the two hundred. It's continued to rip higher, but a very nice trade there. And again, more winners there in the research center. Take a look at Goldman Sachs on an intraday basis. Let's touch base with this and as you can see Goldman again initial selling was selling pretty sharply now how the light volume has taken over and this has kind of come to the point where it's just going neutral to positive and again kind of floating with the markets it's going to be interesting to see if they hit a buy program later in the day to prop this market up and again the reason I say that is because you're now just going sideways the markets are only up slightly on the day as I mentioned the Dow is even negative but Exxon is definitely the key that is keeping this market positive uh, Amazon today let's take a look at Amazon Amazon's down uh, excuse me up 85 cents but actually starting to roll over here a little bit a lot of support will be at the 50 moving average though a lot of support so watch that closely apple computer let's take a look at apple apple again it had a great first candle on a buy program and again to get the market from a you know to the positive side here but since then it's going into a flat rating really flat on this point and again not doing a whole lot so again you can see apple seeming to stall out and just go sideways. Now, again, it doesn't mean this is actually somewhat of a bullish pattern, but the fact that Amazon's starting to break down a little bit wonders makes me wonder if we're going to see a little bit of a breakdown in Apple as well. All right, Google's up about $4. Baidu is now negative on the day, so that's coming in slightly. And again, we will continue to watch on various trades here to see where they go. Big movers today, you have to look at U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel up $1.35. That's a nice little gainer there. Um, other players there, let me just scan through my watch list and see if there's anything that jumps out at me. Uh, not too much, to be honest. Really not a whole lot. As I said, the markets are very, very quiet at this point in time. Halliburton's having a good day, so that's a nice move up, up about a dollar and change. Nice move on HAL there. And again, here's your intraday chart on HAL. Look at the gains. All of the gains in most of these stops, stocks, except for ExxonMobil, came in the first hour of the trading day. I showed you Apple, first candle of the day. Here's Halliburton, really the first hour of the trading day. Since then, it's basically been a non-event. I mean, it really has. And again, the only stock that's doing opposite of that, obviously, this one right here, which again is beginning to pull back. You have to figure a list, this has to pull back. I mean, just the nature of the beast, even if they want to continue to prop it up, you have to think that it does have to have a pullback in the works in the not-too-distant future. So we'll watch and see. Nonetheless, it does look like it's starting to pull back a little bit now. And again, probably let's take a look at the 60-minute the chart. Yeah, I mean, 60 minutes at new 52-week highs, so that's not going to tell us anything. You do have an extremely extended move here for a pullback possibility. So, again, a lot will depend on what the Fed does in regards to this and how much more POMO they have. The volume is keeping it very light, which allows them to do this. Again, if you take a look at the daily chart, take a look at Exxon's volume today. The light range here, you've seen really the last few days have been very, very light on this stock. And, again, it's getting a nice pop today, but, again, for the amount of the pop, the volume should be much, much higher probably around this level for that size of green candle on the daily chart. All right, again, I think that's about it. I will continue to release new trades in the Research Center. I will continue to release new trades in the intraday stock chat. I encourage you to join the free trial to test us out. Come and join us here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Take care, folks.